Hi everyone, good morning. Today is Monday, March 16th, 2020. It's really Sunday, but I'm going to say it's Monday. And uh, here we are, e-learning. Um, I know it's a little different, but I'm sure if we all just do our best and keep the end goal in mind, it'll be great. Um, so here's what I here's what I've been thinking about the past couple of days is the best way to use this time uh, for us um, in a performance-based classroom, and with ISMA contest around the corner for us, and the fact that we'll be missing out on full ensemble rehearsal, um, I've chosen to take these next three days of uh, wind ensemble class to focus on our three different pieces, to dive in a little deeper, and to give you a chance to develop some of the spots that have been the trickiest ones for us, so that when we do come back together in early April, uh, we'll be ready to hit the ground running and be ready for contest. So as a quick overview, uh, for this first class, we're gonna work on the Hounds of Spring. Um, you're gonna take attendance, make sure you do that. Um, I put in a reference recording um, and this one's different than one you've heard in the past, but I really like it. I think there's some liberties that a director took that uh, may be things that I'll, I'll want to apply to our performance. Remember that we are actively listening. We are not doing passive listening. It's not like listening to the radio in the car or have music on in the background as you're talking to your friend. I want you to really listen to the music without other distractions. Okay. Um, actually take out your sheet music and follow along. You might even want to do the fingerings or the slide positions or what have you. Um, I'm going to ask you to listen to this reference recording with your part um, to kind of take the place of us practicing it as a group. Next, there are a number of terms that apply to this piece. I've taken them directly from the score, so you can go through and you can review those. I'll have them listed and their definition. Um, most of them I'm sure you already know, but there may be some that are a good review or maybe even some new ones for you. At the end, it'll be a short-term quiz, okay? This will not be 100 points, but it'll be a short quiz just to make sure that you've taken this information and you've internalized it. Therefore, we can put it forth during performance, okay? Um, I am going to have you do a Hounds of Spring excerpt for your practice. I'm going to tell you what that is here in the next video. I got to do two short videos because it was too long to upload. Um, and I'll give you the measures that I want you to practice on your own. And then I'm going to have you send me a recording of you performing that. But that's not going to be due until the week after we get back from spring break. I just want you to get a jump start on it now so you can practice it a number of times. All of this will take you a good deal of time. I mean, the reference recording alone is 11 minutes. So um, I'm going to come back in the next video if you'll check that out, and I'll go ahead and let you know what your excerpts are so that you can begin your practice for turning in your playing test. Thanks.